everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Boy, that's a mouthful, but it is an amazing brand new ride here at Islands of Adventure. So let's check it out. you guys so you can see the track right here and you can see the motorbike going by you can choose to either ride on the actual motorbike or in the sidecar um, they ask you that before you get on so that's pretty awesome I rode on the motorbike side and this ride is absolutely amazing um, you, of course you can only see a little bit of the track from here but the inside show building it is really really neat I'm not gonna give any spoilers away you got to come check it out for yourself Okay, so now that I've shown you the ride, let's talk logistics. This ride is located in the Islands of Adventure Hogsmeade section of the Harry Potter Wizarding World. And you do have to put your things into a locker. They have two sides to the lockers, however. They have the first side over here and they have a second side over here. So keep that in mind when you're coming. But if anything does not fit into your pocket, it must go into a locker. Um, and then you must use your park ticket for the locker, so just remember to keep your park ticket in your pocket so you can get back into your locker. Little tip for you. This is a brand new ride. It just opened uh, two days ago, and we're in the height of summer season, and so it is very, very popular right now. It is um, a six hour wait. I got here an hour and a half before park open. Park opens at 9 a.m. I was in line for the turnstiles at 7.30, and they were letting people in in waves, and what they were doing is sending you to um, this side of the park over at the beginning of the park at Seussland, and weaving you through. They have a huge queue set up, and it just goes forever, as you can see it out here, heading into Hogsmeade. This is the line to get on Hagrid's, but the queue stretches back all the way basically to the beginning of the park, and you just get in line and funnel your whole way up. So I waited a good hour in line, and by nine o'clock when the park opened, I was actually right over here, right at the beginning of Hogsmeade, and I basically waited an hour and a half in the actual queue, and then got on the ride. So I don't think it's gonna be this drastic all summer. Um, they're already picking up the queue now, and it's the third day. So it looks like the entrance is gonna start right here now. So it's not as bad, but they're doing an excellent job with queuing people and keeping it flowing. Um, as the thing gets more developed, they are going to start doing virtual line. So, um, and virtual line is, as long as you have the universal app, as long as you have the universal app on your phone, you can tap the actual attraction on your phone. Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure, you see it again here. They're looking for the entrance now. Um, so they've already picked up that whole queue from the beginning of the day. Um, and you can click on a time to come back. Keep in mind though, that you have to stay in the park. It is not like Disney Fast Pass, where you could leave the park and then come back. You must stay in the park in order to keep your um, virtual line queue time. So they will be implementing that maybe later today, if not today, probably in the next couple of days. So. Again, this first couple of days is the most drastic as far as the queuing system in the early morning. But I must say, whenever you come throughout the summer, if you're coming this summer of 2019, early morning is gonna be your best bet. If you can be here again, an hour before the park opens, that way you do your waiting when nothing's happening, no rides are going. And once you get on and off, you have the rest of the day uh, to see the rest of the parks, okay? And that'll, that'll help uh, make better use of your time. Okay, so let's talk about the ride experience. It's an absolutely amazing ride. It is a roller coaster, but I'd say it's it's a family-friendly roller coaster. However, it is kind of herky-jerky and fast. Um, it, it does more side-to-side -side like this motion. Can you see my hand? I'll calm it down here. Side-to-side -side motion like this. Um, a little bit of dropping 
at an angle, but most of a lot of it is, is quick side to side motion. But the ride technology is so new. I have never seen a roller coaster like this. The loading platform is new. It's, um, it's almost like a moving dark ride, how you load the coaster. And it just has amazing parts in the technology that you're just like, wow, this is a roller coaster. <laughs> it's really, really, really neat technology. So it's very advanced. It's, it's really neat. It's a good ride. Um, it's super fun. It's something that I would be willing to go on again and again and again. Today I waited two and a half hours. Um, you know, the line has been longer the last couple days for some folks. And I've heard people say that they waited eight to nine hours and they said it was worth it and they'd do it again. So the two and a half hours I waited, it was definitely worth it. I will definitely be back. Um, so definitely check this out if you're coming to Universal this summer of 2019. And if you're not coming this summer, when you come in the future, it will be here. Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure. So now we're gonna head over and we're gonna take the train um, to the Universal side of the park because there's a couple of new things happening at Universal Studios. So let's go check it out. Hey, guys, check it out. It's the secret life of pets right here at Universal Studios. What are you doing? Big stuff today. There are a lot of you up there. What is this crazy joint? <laughs> a really cute float. So much detail. He just had to really look at everything to see all of the different pets on there. I'm a big fan of the Secret Life of Pets. I like the first one and I just recently saw the second one. So um, if you're a big fan, let us know down in the comments below. We are headed down the street to that new Today Show Cafe. So let's get some lunch. All right, so here we are, the Today Cafe which is designed after, I think, the cafeteria inside the Today Show building. It um, features a lot of different types of sandwiches and salads and things like that. So we're gonna head in and have some lunch. And uh, in case you're wondering where it is, it's located right at the front of the park. The front entrance to the park is like right over here. So if you're coming in from the City Walk area into Universal Studios, it'll be right away. The first ride you'll see is Minion Mayhem over here. Uh, so it's just Kitty Corner from Minion Mayhem. However, we came the opposite way today because we took the train from Hogsmeade, where we were riding Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure on the Islands of Adventure side of the park. So we rode the Harry Potter Express train into Universal Studios. So we came from that direction and walked across the park. So just as an idea where to find this cafe. Let's head on inside and give it a try. Okay, right, we come in, you can see all the beautiful fake goods. This blueberry brioche seems really interesting. Chocolate croissant, chocolate chip cookie, um, all kinds of vegan croissants. Those look interesting. And what's in this Windsor tort? That looks interesting as well. And I'm not even sure what this is, but it looks delicious. And what about a Nutella brioche? Wow, that looks good. We also have a couple salads here. Roasted root, beets, and carrots. And a Soho salad. I'm not sure what else in that. It's like some kind of grain, along with maybe ham and Brussels sprouts, maybe. And here's some of the different sandwiches. And they have an Earl Grey and Lavender cream puff, a green tea matcha cream puff. These are all different. I've never heard of any of these before. They look really good. Look at the tiramisu. This is gonna be tough, and the fruit tart looks amazing. Check this out, blueberry cheesecake on a stick. That's creative. And the chocolate raspberry bomb. Oh, I think I'm sold on that. Look at this chocolate tort. Delicious. Key lime tart, lemon meringue tart, strawberry cheesecake on a stick. Salted duce de leche Napoleon. And whatever opera cake is, that looks interesting too. Peanut butter and jelly cupcake and a s'mores cupcake. Wow. Look at the So many choices, you guys. Mm, I have no idea what I'm getting. Here's a close up of the menu of the sandwiches. Nice. I think I'm going to get that top one, the carne. There's the salads. 
They also do have a breakfast menu, so if you want to eat here early in the morning, they do have that as well. Okay, so I got the Carnegie, the hot pastrami on rye with the Swiss cheese and the mustard, typical New York sandwich. And I got it with a cup of fruit. You can choose between fruit or potato salad. So let's give this a try. All right, so this sandwich is delicious. The pastrami is um, really good. It's super tender, thinly shaved, but you get a lot of meat and it's super delicious. It has such a good flavor. And I like the cheese with it, the mustard complements it, the rye bread, it just all goes together. Uh, makes me feel like I'm in New York. Let me give the fruit a taste as well. The fruit is super fresh and sweet and it feels really refreshing on a hot day. Overall, I give this place two thumbs up so far. I will be back to try more sandwiches. I didn't get any desserts today, so I will be back because I really want to try that raspberry chocolate dome, possibly that Nutella brioche thing. There's so many good desserts here. So I will be back. This is definitely a nice, healthy option to have in the parks. If you're tired of having burgers and fries all the time, come to the Today Cafe. It's really cute as well. Let me show you again all of the look of the place. So check it out when you're here at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Well, everyone, it's just been a wonderful morning here at Universal Orlando. We got to ride the brand new ride, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure over at Islands of Adventure. And we had a wonderful lunch at the Today Cafe at Universal Studios. Check out both of these things here this summer at Universal Orlando. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more. Thanks for watching.